Hi. It's been a day. Oh my god, it's been a day. Hi. I haven't streamed in so long, and I'm I'm experimenting with some stuff today. I don't know how I feel about having the model in front of the chat, but I'm trying it out. But, uh... Everything has broken today. Literally, everything I can think of that can break has broken at some point today. And I can't say I'm fi I'm a fan of that. I'm, I'm adjusting the size real quick. I feel like I'm too schmoll. But I think I woke up today and was like, I have some ideas of what I want to do today. And then every signal like technical problem possible happened but good news i seems to have found a explanation a thing to blame actually i don't like the the character in front of the chat let me just adjust that yeah i like that better but I seem to have found at least an explanation for why the my character model, at least for VC phase, I wasn't really having issues with well, the other one, whatever it's called. VTube Studio. I haven't had problems with that one. It's just been VC phase. And for the life of me, I was just not able to figure out what was wrong. It seems like there's an issue with the amount either the amount or the type of sources that i'm using seems to have a problem with that in obs i don't know off the top of my head how to improve things to allow for everything i want to run to run but it, it seems to be uh Seems to be the issue right now. Seems to be that I just can't. Do you just have many sources of any seam? Yeah. Um. And the funny thing is that if I like if I turn it off so that it's not like playing or not visible or whatnot, it seems seems cool with it. Doesn't care at all. But uh, if I run everything, uh, it may also be a RAM issue, which is clogging. If it's a RAM issue, I have thirty two like things of RAM. If it's a RAM problem, then there's something wrong with the way things are set up on my end. And if that's the case, I'm gonna be mad. But I, I don't think it's a- I- I can't imagine it's a RAM issue. I just can't. I don't know. I don't know. The. <laughs> I was thinking of playing uh, Unpack today, but just with everything popping up, I was just like, I just- <laughs> we're not gonna get to that, I don't think. Uh, I think today we're gonna be experimenting, cause like, like let me let's let me show y'all what happens when I turn everything back on. Like how how much the rigging gets compromised. Can't wait for you to crash the stream again. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. <laughs> no, uh, I actually. By Xfinity, apparently, updated recently. I got an email from them being like, oh, because like you've been such a loyal customer for whoever fucking knows how long, uh, we're increasing the speed of your internet. Yay, for free, yay. And then of course, as soon as they update it, quote unquote, uh, it gets worse. <laughs> I I've been having such bad internet the past few days Love Xfinity. I love it's the only damn thing nearby that I can use. Here's the thing. I didn't choose Xfinity. It was the only option available to me at this place that I moved into. <laughs> so I get to kill them personally. Yay. Yeah, let me show y'all what happens when I turn things back on. I also don't know if the, like, ignoring the rigging, the actual, like, visual quality of my model right now, I'm, 
I normally have the actual program up and running on my like my bigger monitor so it's it's a lot crisper but I currently have it on my one 1000 wait what is it called the 1400 pixel thing I have it on my smaller screen smaller quote normal screen uh and to me on my bigger screen with the OBS the model quality looks a little worse it's not bad it's just a little more pixelated and I can't tell because I think the stream runs at 180p so I don't think it's noticeable but if it's like a, if it's a massive difference uh I guess I'm, I guess I'll be able to confirm or check after stream when I have my bot and everything I can check like to my records on YouTube because in theory in theory it shouldn't be noticeable which is great because it improves the progress but you want to dp you look normal okay cool <laughs> let me flip you off because <laughs> i was sitting here and i was like oh i don't want to have it on the smaller screen because then the visual quality is worse and then i was like wait videos don't run at the quality of the screen that i have <laughs> so it wouldn't be noticeable anyway so it's fine but yeah i keep the laying let me actually turn everything back on emote wall collab let's put the wish list back on put all the chat stuff back on logo follows let's put uh the throne alerts i'm just gonna keep that off because i wasn't getting alerts anyway uh but yeah this is the quality that happens when everything is turned on which it's it's like it's a few browser uh sources uh it's an image uh like the logo like this is what i was dealing with L literally if like if i if i wanted to just like have to embrace this <laughs> We could go full, like, stop motion. Uh, but yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> Thank you, the <little> leveled. <laughs> Thank you for the follow while I'm dealing with this stuff. I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh. Oh, no. How do I kill, let me, let me figure out how to kill you. Thank you for the ban. <laughs> I was like... Wow, a follow while I'm dealing with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, thank you. Okay. Let me turn this shit off. Let's actually see how much just turning the logo off will do anything. Yeah, I really need to, to get a smaller size for that logo to put on here. Because I'm going to turn other stuff off as well so that I have a bit of a better thing uh but yeah it's uh it's it's incredible how fast things improve as soon as i turn off a few things uh isaiah and then the emote wall i think that was everything oh and the wish list turn that off but yeah like it's amazing how much better it can get as soon as i turn a few things off uh, so in the future, I might be doing some reshuffling of, like, stuff on stream. Yeah, I, I do need to size it down. Because when I first put it onto my stream, I was like, oh, it's it's a big file. I'll just size it down. Uh, let me find the actual details for the file. Um, because it's a, it's a big one. And I... I appreciate that the artist gave me a really big one. Oh, yeah, I I need to reevaluate. Well, here's the thing. I don't feel like the amount of sources I have is crazy. Like, I have a good PC that I built. I feel like the amount of sources I have are not insane. Um, I've got a file for music. I have... Like, this is what I'm running right now. Um, like, ignoring the ones that I turned off, I have 
one for music, I have one for alerts, one for sound alerts. I have one that I can just turn off because I'm not using it right now, but my like collab reaction ones uh, for like if I have people in Discord in a, in a collab, it lets the little images pop up. Uh, I have one for me, for my face, uh, the, the Sprout one, which I just put on. Um, and then I have one for the mic. And then I have one for the backdrop. So that's like seven. I have seven active right now. And it's like, it's causing a little bit of degradation to the rigging, but like not a massive amount. It's enough that I'm like fine with it. But that's like seven. I don't think that's insane to be like, oh man, that's really pushing it to have seven. Oh, uh, but the amount that I normally have running, uh, let's see. The logo one, let's just ignore that because that one's its own special beast of thing. Um, ignore the logo. I would have two browser sources, one that shows my recent subs and one that shows the recent follows. Uh, one called Wishlist, which is just a text file. Um, again, not big. Uh, the collab react. Um, I would have a browser source for an emote wall. So if people do emojis in the chat, it will like fall onto the screen. Uh, and then an extra browser source for the Isaiah TTS, which was having problems. I'm going to probably try and switch things up to fix it up in the future. Uh, cause Isaiah was just so unreliable. Um, and it's like, there were more of them, but they weren't like heavy duty things. They were browser sources and text files. Like it's, it, yeah, it did quote unquote double. And there are definitely instances where I can maybe like make things, uh, streamline some stuff. I definitely understand that, but I don't think that it's like an insane enough of a difference to be like, oh, this is really going to like tank the stream i don't know <laughs> and it wasn't like making the stream itself bad it was purely just the like purely just the model don't know why and i i bet there's some dumb thing that i'm like oh i maybe there's one one thing i could toggle to fix everything uh that i don't know what it is uh, and I'll probably never know unless someone who's like really technically whatever the hell comes along and's like, oh, did you do this thing? And I'm like, no. Uh, bleh. But yeah, let me find the original file for the logo because it's really funny how big it is because <laughs> it's a bit absurd. Uh, how big this file is. Let me see. Got the logo up. Let me figure out which one specifically it is, just in case. Uh, it's the PNG2. Where's properties? There you are. Uh, 4.56 megabytes. <laughs> so the... So the dimensions um, uh, on this image was 12,500 pixels by 8,334 pixels, which is probably very nice for like print stuff uh, and probably isn't good for like stream image, a bit big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god why is it so big i'm actually gonna really quick <laughs> i'm actually gonna really quick open up uh obs and actually make a little version because <laughs> i'm sitting here i'm like this is such an easy fix why am i not doing it <laughs> please don't save throw into here load image it's such a pretty logo i love my logo so much it's just so big <laughs> It's so big. Uh, get it in two. No, do not double it. No, 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 no. 
Uh, there we go. Let's actually make it even smaller. I do not need you to be that fucking big. <laughs> it still looks... It's so big. Why is it so big? Small. Make it little. Make it small. No, don't save. Okay. Let's experiment. Let's have a little fun. Let's make you so much smaller. Where did you go? Where is it? Where did it go? Oh my god, it's so. Did it. Did it. Could he fly away? Uh. Oh, where'd he go? Let me put the big one back and we'll find it. Oh, he's back. Okay. I think it it went too small. It, it went so small he flew away. Okay, you go there. Okay, let's get the smaller one. Oh, is it just gone? Oh! Where'd he go? No, come. Come to me. Uh... No. It's so- it's so small, it just vanished. I have to delete it. <laughs> I have to get rid of it! Okay. Let's try this again. What are you doing to your poor screen? I... am trying to put the smaller one. Uh, I, I made a smaller version of my logo, uh, and so I'm trying to put it back on the stream, see if I can get away with that, and I don't know why, but it just keeps flying around the screen, uh, and I don't know if you heard or not, uh, the, the logo that was causing so much lag, uh, it's... 12,500 pixels by 8,300 pixels. 334 pixels. Uh, so there's a reason why Stream was having such a problem with it. <laughs> it's because it's so big. That's a bit better. Maybe. Such a big fucking file. Uh, let's make you a little bigger. That's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I tuck you into here? How we doing, stream? Let me do the hand test. See how responsive it is. Okay. pretty good yeah we got the logo back yay <laughs> we're getting somewhere the nice thing is is it seems like the quality of the stream and the model doesn't really change when i start streaming so if i want to do more tests in the future it seems like i'll be good to do it off of stream which is nice it's like as frustrating as the stuff is and, like, annoying it is to deal with. I'm really glad that I finally figured out what the problem might be. As dumb as it is. Like, I've got... I've got XR Animator, which I use for the base of my rigging. I've gotten that. Like, I kind of figured out what an issue was with that. For some reason, when I would have it in my taskbar, and then I would run it off of that, it caused a lot of issue. Don't know why, but it would. Running it like a normal file, just like searching for it and running it, perfectly fine. Works like a charm. Works beautifully. And then running VC face off the taskbar, also fine. Not sure why XR Animator was having a problem, but that seems to be okay. And now, we see the issue <laughs> with OBS, which feels silly, but I at least have an answer. And maybe if I just better set up the stream, better, like, organize stuff, 
be a bit more mindful of what I'm using. I don't know. And at the very least, this is just for VC face. I could, in theory, make like two layouts, one for VC face and one for everything else. That will only have more stuff on the other things. I don't know. But it's, it's at least nice to see that I'm figuring things out. That's nice. Oh, I need to moisturize better. My, my, my skin is getting dry. I guess a fun bit of news. Uh, like, I've, I've been gone for the past month or so. Uh, with, like, work. Work's been very good. I've just been very tired when I get out of work. And I'm, like, I'm kind of peopled out. I don't really want to play host right now uh, with everything else I'm doing. Uh, but I guess a, a fun bit of news, I'm going on, like, a work trip this week. Can't really, I, it's hard to say trip. It's like a work, it's like a work trip convention thing. They do it with all the, the new hires, and it's gonna be, like, a group of, like, 30 of us, I think. They still haven't told us where we're going. <laughs> It's so weird. They're like, we love surprises. And I'm sitting here like, I hope that this is a fun trip because it seems like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the th it feels like we're going to go get killed. The funniest part is they're making us drive. They're having all of us get into like five or six vans and then we're driving off and we don't know where we're going. They're, they're like, we left surprises. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm going to get killed maybe. <laughs> Which is fitting because we work with funerals, uh, funeral homes. Uh, but all I know so far is that we are likely to be going somewhere where there is snow. Because it's either where there's going to be snow or where it's going to be at least cold. Because someone who's like organizing it reached out to me and was like, Oh, uh, excited that you'll be coming on the trip. I uh, just wanted to verify if you have, like, good shoes, uh, a good, like, waterproof jacket, uh, and gloves. And I'm sending her, like, okay, I don't really have, like, I have shoes that work fine. Uh, I have a jacket that works fine. Gloves is not really something that I have. Gloves and I have a rough relationship in that I have tiny hands. Uh, and so... They were like, oh, what size, what size is it? And like, I think maybe small. Uh, which we'll see if that accounts for the, like, girth of my hand. Because they're, they're small, but they're chunky fingers. So, it's an interesting thing that I always have trouble with gloves. Uh, because I can't just pick a child's glove because it might not be thick enough for my hand. Good luck becoming the buried, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. At the very least, it seems like I will have my own room. Apparently, we have hotel rooms. We've been told that we have reservations. Only one person from my team was actually sent a confirmation. So she knows where the hotel is, but she's not telling the rest of us where it is. Because <laughs> she's like, I have a little secret that no one else was supposed to know, but I got to know. Uh, and so she's hoarding it. <laughs> like an asshole <laughs> as if I wouldn't do the exact same thing <gasps> uh but that's gonna be happening this week on Wednesday and Thursday so I'm gonna be out of town so that'll be interesting the main thing I'm concerned about honestly is coming back Friday and having like two days of work to have to catch up on because I I just got caught up after like two weeks of like because I, I started this new job and they were unsure where they're going to put some of us specifically because there's been a lot of internal restructuring and we just had a team member uh step out for a few months because she's going on maternity leave and we had to do a lot of shuffling real fast so i got very quickly pushed up in terms of like the amount of responsibility i had which is not a problem it was going to happen eventually. It was just much faster than I expected. So I suddenly have a lot of things on my plate that I didn't understand. 
but was kind of expected, not like expected to like take the lead on in terms of like, no one's helping me. I've had that happen before, uh, but more in like, hey, do you have a question? Reach out. But other than that, kind of hoping you can kind of take the lead on these things. Uh, but it's been good. It's just been a lot of very quickly catching up, but I'm in a much better place now. I actually understand things a lot better. Like the case would be every like email out of two emails, like one, one email out of every two, I would look at it and be like, I have no idea what this is. No idea what I'm doing. Dear God, what have you asked me to do? And now I get those emails and I would say, I would say one in every six that I get now, uh, I look at and I'm like, what? <laughs> and it's so funny because some of these processes that I was like, like lamenting over, uh, like probably wasting 30 minutes looking at one email and being like, I don't know what to do. Uh, and then it ends up being like a two minute thing. Like I literally go on a website click some buttons, type in an address, and we're like, all right, there you go. Which is nice. It does feel, it, I'm starting to get to a point where I'm like, oh, I, I get things. I can do things. I can be helpful and not be annoying for people to work with. And it's nice. There's just one email I have right now that I honestly might work on tonight or tomorrow. That's just like, it's, it's a lot of very specific small things I have to do for it. And it's like five emails worth of stuff smushed into one because they need like, they need specific access for like 12 different people. And normally they request like one or two different people for the access. So it's just a lot of effort just to like get everything taken care of. Oh, I thought I turned off head pads. I, with Isaac out right now, like everything isn't working. Uh, let me see if I can update that and get you your money back. Where is it? Where's my creator dashboard? I was like doing a whole thing. I was trying to update my ads uh, schedule. That didn't work. Like nothing is letting me update right now on Twitch. And I had this problem happen a short while ago. And I sent the ticket in and they didn't do anything about it. And I'm still mad about it. Aww. The head pats from afar. Are you gonna pop up on the screen, Twitch, or are you just gonna have me look at it in the chat thing? <laughs> uh, my Bruise crew. Oh, I am backed up on these, aren't I? Did an ad just happen? What in the world? Uh, reject. I love the language reject it. Uh, complete all. Complete all this shit. There we go. Get rid of that backlog. You sleep, work in seven hours. Ooh. At the very least, it's not like four. That would be much worse. But you should sleep. I'm probably not going to stream for very much longer. I feel like I've took it figured out everything that I want to. Uh, I don't really feel like playing game tonight. I might do that. I had a thought. I was I almost did it today and then I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because of the everything that's happened. Uh, but I've had two thoughts so far. Uh, might start tomorrow, might not. I'm, I'm currently having a conversation with my mom in terms of doing taxes, uh, which will probably happen next weekend. So tomorrow is pretty open for me. I was considering between two ideas that I might either decide for myself or like ask around on like either Twitter or one of the servers that I do v VTuber stuff in, uh, about doing either a, like a, I'm losing words. Doing a, like a Hades stream. Cause I've talked a while about the idea of doing like a long, a long Hades stream for a day. Uh, or other idea 
that would be like more of a long-term commitment kind of thing. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a, a Balbergate stream, but with a specific Sema character, because I have a mod that has lets you play as a satyr, and I have a fun idea for it. Um, but maybe starting that tomorrow, uh, grab your host, play game. Ooh, do you have any game ideas? Any game ideas? The video game? But I've like, I've poked around. I actually had to fix some mods up recently because there was like one thing I had, uh, that was kind of breaking. <laughs> like, my, my Baldur's Gate thing. Uh, so I had to go through my mods and figure out what the problem was. Uh, but it's fixed now, thankfully. So I, in theory, could do a stream of Baldur's Gate. Um, but I've thought about it. The big thing about doing the semi specific Baldur's Gate stream, and in theory doing it long term, is that I don't know, because Baldur's Gate takes a long fucking time. Um, I don't know if I want to invest the amount of time I would need to into a semi specific Baldur's Gate streaming series, uh, at least right now. Because I, I finished the game back in... It was the end of the year, but I don't know if it had already gotten 2024 by the time I finished. I know it was the end of the year, though, but it, it, it still feels very fresh in my mind, and I, like... I don't normally do replays of games. Uh, how do you feel about... I Soul Link Nuzlocks. I have wanted to do a Soul Link for so long... If you want to do a Soul Link Nuzlocke, I would be interested. I, I tried to get one started with a friend of mine a while ago. It did not pan out. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, I can get started and you can catch up. And she was like, all right, cool. She never started. <laughs> she was busy. Uh, and I'm I'm the, the kind of person where I feel bad about getting pushy. Uh, so I did not. <laughs> I did not do much in terms of reminders. So I was just like... And I was like, yeah, if she really wants to, she'll start. Uh, and she did not. <laughs> I was like, oh, I probably could have just nudged her a little bit. Uh, but if, yeah, I have like a... I, you have... You have Scarlet Violet, I, I think. Because that, that's the one I have where I have like a, a free file. I just need to learn how to do it and how it works. Ooh. So I've seen... I think I've only seen Alpha Rad do it. But, like, the whole way, like, it works is Scarlet. Yes, so we could do Scarlet. Ha ha ha. Uh, but, like, the way it works is, like, normal Nuzlocke, get Pokemons. If they die, they're out. Uh, yada, yada, yada. The big thing with a Soul Lock, though, is, like, whenever you catch a Pokemon or you get a Pokemon, you and the person you're coordinating with have to name your pokemon the same thing like whenever you guys get your starters you typically name them the same thing like uh let's see you both of you name your starter bill uh and then you go let's say you catch something route one uh regardless of what each thing is that the person caught name it the same thing name it gregory and then as you're playing the game let's say let's say for whatever reason you only have one pokemon in your party at any time if someone like if one side says oh well i have these pokemon um and i really want to have bill on my team and we're going to this bug gym because and bill's a fire type so like, i really want bill on my team but the other person their bill quote unquote is like uh like a psychic type They're like oh well no i don't want to bring bill because my bill is gonna be bad for that gym so the crux of it is everybody's like teams on both sides is quote unquote the same pokemon uh because it was caught in the same places but you have to coordinate who do you want your team at all times because both sides have to have the same pokemon on each side and then as nuzlocks go when a pokemon dies you gotta kill take it out uh, and so say person a's bill dies well, then Bill and the other team also has to go. <laughs> and that's how the soul link goes. And I've seen it before where it's like, oh, you take turns. Uh, you take turns doing the fight. 
uh like there, there's two ways to do it when you're actually doing like the big important fights um because you can have it at the same time so that you're not really aware of like who's supposed to die on both sides it, it'd be something we'd coordinate it as it's happening um but it's like an extra level on top of it because you could be going completely fine and then the other team member can have like a really bad fight and lose multiple Pokemon. And so you gotta take out multiple of your Pokemon, even though you did completely fine. <laughs> and I feel like in terms of a soul link, I feel like it'd make the most sense to just do like a a gym leader bum rush. Cause that's an interesting thing about like Scarlet and Violet is the league is not the story. It's just part of the world. Soul Lock, so it was similar but different. There was a rule if you couldn't catch the same type of Pokemon. Oh, I have, I think that's, what would that be? Because that would always be an additional thing. The two people I watched were doing it wrong. Okay, so they were, they were already mucking about. I imagine the ROM they had increased the just amount of Pokemon available. So I feel like just doing a vanilla game Probably not that rule as well, because there's already such a limited amount of things. Uh, but also, Nuzlocking is weird in Scarlet and Violet, because of, like, the... There's not, like, the grass, there's just areas. And I actually don't know... Oh, I know, I know something that's been done. I know, like... Like, I've seen... Alpha Rod's my biggest example that I've seen. Uh, with Scarlet and Violet for Nuzlocks, instead of, like... Like, I've done something when I was doing Nuzlocke where... I would pick, quote unquote, by being in the area, closing my eyes, and then just running <laughs> until I heard the music pop off that it was like, oh, I'm in a battle now. Okay. And I feel like that's a, like a, I like that idea because it's still adding a randomness to it, but I guess you as a player can kind of cheat it because you can like, Put, you can turn yourself in a direction where it's a bit more profitable. Um, but there's also the method of like making a wheel uh, online and then just spinning it to see like what you can get. Uh, so I think there's merits to both sides. One's a bit more properly random, one's a lot quicker uh, in terms of execution. But I, again, like if we do want to do this, uh, Obviously, I'm just spitballing thoughts and things. Uh, I had to lock Mimi in another room because she was being an asshole. And she's gotten quiet, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> we can talk about it. We can. Definitely. Mimi was being a jackass today. Like, like a special kind. Uh, I'm assuming it's because it's gotten warmer out right now, so she's more, like, spry. Uh, she's also been very mad because I was on a trip this past weekend. I was visiting some family in Vegas, and because I can't give her her special anxiety food while I'm gone, I just increased the amount of dry food she ends up getting, so it helps her kind of even out because she's like she gets I have to limit her dry food intake because she gets chonky real fast and I want to make sure she stays healthy. Uh, but she's mad now because she's not getting more food than she normally was. Uh, and so she kept like biting my feet at night, I think, in like protest. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's like, yeah, yeah. I get it. And there's there's a part of me that's hoping that at her next vet appointment that they end up like saying that she's like, oh, like the her weight right now, like she could be like, I don't know, eating more because like her weight was like slowly but surely going up. And I was like, OK, the easiest way to fix this is just minimizing how much she's eating because I can't trust her to just free free eat off because like 
there's some people that know they're like, oh, like I just leave dry food out all the time that they like free munch on it. And then they can have, they have wet food like once or twice a day. I can't do that with Mimi. I can't do that. If I did that, she'd be 20 pounds in a month. Uh, cause that she loves, she loves to her food. Uh, so I have to limit it. Oh, she's yelling now. <laughs> she knows I'm talking about her. But yeah, I I would like it if the vet said that her weight was at a place where she could probably have a bit more. I have no idea, but I like the idea of a small child doing this. Huh? Uh, well, hello to stream, Dragon Ballistic. I don't know properly what you mean, but welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm complaining about my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's being a dick? Uh, because I haven't been giving her as much free food recently. Uh, and I, she's also going to be mad this week too when I go on my trip. Because I'm going to have to do the same thing with the food. At the very least, I'm only going to be gone for one night. So it's not going to be as bad. But she is going to give me an earful when I get home. And adjust her theater to be not giving her as much food. Uh, as she was when she was free feeding. <gasps> Cricket! Cricket, my darling. She perched like a parrot. A little parakeet she is. Mm. What time is it? 8.30. Part of me feels crummy, because I didn't get as much done today as I'd hoped. But... Also, I ran into every single technical issue I could today, so I did a lot in terms of that. That's such a nice model. <gasps> Thank you! I made it on Vroid, and I have been having an absolute hell time with some rigging stuff recently, but it has mostly resolved tonight. Uh, so my rigging is actually good now, as opposed to the trash fire it was previously. And I even bought a nice camera <laughs> that I wasn't able to use because everything was bad. <laughs> but thank you. I, I'm not doing a revamping right now, uh, but in the future, I have a good goal of like wanting to go in and like make a new model and like kind of from the ground up, make a new one. Like I want to try and do custom hair if I can, uh, see where I can make some adjustments to better align with like what I would like. Fix the feet. You can't see it, but the feet look terrible. Uh, my little hooves uh, look really dreadful. <laughs> but thank you. 11.30. Whoa. That's so late for a work night. I say as I go to bed at like 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 1 a.m. I can say words. Well, <laughs> just not today. Oh god, was my blinking bad? I like saw it for a moment before my eyes opened and it was like doing that like sh smush thing. Me working 6 a.m. Oh God. I've like, it, it was so funny because whenever I'm like between jobs, I get all panicky. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm waking up at like 11 or something. I'm, I'm scared of working in like an office again. Cause that means that I'll have to figure out how to be waking up at like 8 a.m. And then me being like, having very minimal issue in terms of waking up properly. I did miss a meeting once a couple weeks ago because I slept in, but it's been one thing so far in like two months. So I'm like, okay, that's good. Is it based on a satyr from, I believe, Creek mythology? I am. I'm I'm supposed to be a satyr. Uh, not like, not directly like pulling from like specific Greek mythos or anything. It's more just the, the, the visual idea of like satyr of like a, a horned a, a horned kind of doe like creature with uh hooves and shit <laughs> god this the stream elements gave me a jump scare i have a, a apologies dragon i had a i had a person earlier tonight who jumped in and we was immediately like i have a scam offer for you and i was like mm, die uh, the stream elements popped up with the same color <laughs> as you and I saw a link and I was like, oh, no, <laughs> another person trying to trick me. <laughs> Apologies for that. 
<laughs> oh Christ. It's been a fun evening. It's been a fun day of me trying to deal with shit. Uh, I've, I've been doing so much cleaning and rearranging around my apartment these past few days. It makes sense that all of my tech stuff would fuck up today. Like DaVinci Resolve. I love the program. I love its free version so much. They give you so much to do with it. Uh, and then today it just kind of decided to go like on, on Bork. Uh, and I just spent like two hours trying to download their new version of it. Uh, which that was fun. But I have it now. Ah oh, yes, scam links to buy 500 followers. Yes, yes, you understand me. My f my favorite. What is Da Vinci? <gasps> Silence, Mimi. <laughs> da Vinci Resolve is an absolutely wonderful little video editing program that yes, you can spend like three hundred dollars on their full like studio version, but for for free. You can just get their normal version uh, that is literally just called Da Vinci Resolve. Uh, I think the version right now is 18.6.5. It is completely free. And the amount of like ability that you have with it, like you get like effects, transitions, multi-channel like layering. Like you can do so much with it and it's free. It's insane what you can do with it. The only like caveat is that when you're downloading it, it takes 20 years and it makes you think that your computer is breaking, but you just have to like let it run. But it is so good. Like if you just Google best free video editing software, uh, there's like an, an article for 2024 from Zapier uh, that like is hyping it up right now. It's so good. It is so good if you don't want to pay for a video editing software. And it, I think it works on Linux too, which is crazy. If that is the case that I, if I'm remembering correctly, but it's like it works on Mac, it works on Windows. It's like, it's great. <laughs> it, it's it's so just nice uh, of, for video editing because I, I use it fairly often if I'm like working on little projects or if I have a, a stream that for some reason wasn't porting over to YouTube correctly, which is probably going to happen tonight considering everything that's gone wrong tonight uh, with Twitch and everything. Uh, but I can just like download the video, throw it into DaVinci, do some cleanup on it, uh, and then shoot it off over to YouTube. Uh, my lore video, which I'm working on right now, uh, I'm doing some like like tests right now on it because uh, I have an idea, but it requires me to do something very specific technically. Uh, and I'm trying to like replicate an effect from video games on it, like when like the text boxes pop up. Uh, I'm trying to do that right now, and it's I'm it's functional right now. It doesn't look great, but it's functional. Uh, but it definitely looks like it's going to be possible. With uh, Da Vinci, I just need to keep fiddling with it to see what I want it to do. Twitch never has problems. Never ever. It works so well, and I love it when I put my tickets in and like ask for technical support, and they say nothing seems wrong. Go fuck yourself, and I'm like, nah. But I don't want to switch to YouTube. I don't want to do YouTube streaming. I don't understand it. And all my friends are on Twitch. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to have to make uh, a 3D model that has glasses on it. It's just annoying that if I wanted to have like versions of my outfits with glasses as well, I would have to make entirely new models or I'd have to save entirely new models. It'd be very bloated in terms of like my save files. Uh, so that's mainly why I don't do it. Uh, I also don't really remember what the glasses look like on Vroid, but at least the base ones I've been like, eh, not big on them. But I also, I've like, it, it's funny the amount of time that I've worked with Vroid. And it's like, I've done so much stuff with it. Like I've, I've, messed around with it so much 
but I don't think there's any like one area that I've really like dove it into. Like I've really never done custom hair stuff. Uh, I've kind of fiddled around with the idea of like custom clothing, but I've like never made anything substantial. Like there's an outfit I worked on a little bit ago that I kind of gave up on. Uh, like there's so much stuff that I've just, I fiddled around with kind of. <laughs> I think the most that I've done, like, custom work in myself, outside of just, like, the skin, uh, I think was my my attempt at making hooves that didn't go well, but it, it technically works. Uh, oh, what did that... <laughs> my, my back is really stiff right now, so I keep trying to, like, flail my arms around to, I don't know, fix it. Uh, <laughs> I broke the model. <laughs> Make sure to hydrate, everybody. I've got my I'm I'm jumping back on my old lemonade train that I kind of jumped off of a while ago. It's so good, crystal light. Your arms really wanted to go back. Yeah, <laughs> let me have them out again. Let me can I can I replicate how much it broke? Come on, come on, arms. Fuck up. <laughs> it doesn't let you do it. Oh, there we go. My my model is ambidextrous. You see, I've got those really slippery joints. <laughs> the 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 outfits that have the real puffy sleeves really really do work in terms of kind of smoothing out the weirdness uh, of these models moving around. I've got a my 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 model that has the outfit that was that I consider like my base outfit. It just doesn't translate well in the 3D form. Uh, so I don't use it very much. Like I use this outfit a lot and I use the the one I called the bombshell outfit. Uh, that's like has like the, the tighter bodice and like the lace sleeves. Uh, those ones work really well, I think. Because uh, they, they have big sleeves, but like with this one, you're not really seeing into the sleeve. And then with the lace sleeve, it's already kind of transparent, so it's it's like it's it obscures it, but you're not like seeing holes. Uh, but I, I if I if I really want a model, a 3D model with my base outfit, I'm gonna need to make custom sleeves because the sleeves that come with the Vroid, they don't look very good. At least for the mo the big problem is that I. <laughs> yes, slipper. God, uh, let me switch to the outfit actually, because I can, because I have the ability to. Um, it's not stripper, but it's, uh, it's definitely not like you're not wearing it to church. Oh, wait. Back, I say. There we go. Uh, but this is, this is the bombshell outfit. Uh, it's, it's black lace. Um, but yeah, like the, the way the sleeves are, they're all, they're they're they kind of obscure the actual shape of the arm. Uh, and a, a fun little trick that I have uh, that I that was recommended in a video that I watched. Why am I? Huh? My arms are up. My shoulders get a little weird. Uh, but a, a trick that I was recommended to me in a uh, the video that I watched way way back when. Uh, when I first started working with Vroid, uh, was when you're making a model, make the arms longer. Because the basic arms of Vroid are very short. Uh, and that's kind of because it's, it's a lot of weird proportional stuff with Vroid can it be attributed to the fact that Vroid is designed and intended to be a platform in which you can make your animu characters. Uh, and like, my model is not like intensely uh like anime and design there's definitely elements where you're like okay i i can see like like i can see the v-roid in it uh but like i think the eyes on mine are like really pushed up uh the arms i made longer because like anime arms i guess typically are weirdly short v-roid sounds like some sort of drug like steroids yeah v-roid studio Fun, fun little program. I think it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's a free program. Uh, 
most people you run into, VTubers at the very least, who are using a 3D model, I would say like 80-90% of the time they're using a V-Roid model. Uh, like if you see a lot of like 3D VTubers out there, uh, who like they all kind of look the same, most likely because they're made off of V-Roid. And then you'll like have people with these like insanely like unique looking like V-Roid characters because like the people were like either they they put a lot of stylization into it or there's someone who really knows how to get weird with the hair mechanics in V-Roid. Uh, because you can make some really interesting shit with V-Roid uh, if you're willing to like kind of put in the effort or you know somebody who can and you pay them to make you cool shit. <laughs> Uh, I, I've done the most, like, work myself with V-Roid, uh, which is funny because, like, most people who are, like, interested in VTube and going into it, most of them know of the 2D stuff for the most part, and that was me kind of coming into it, uh, and, like, I had no interest at first in the 3D stuff because all I knew about was custom models, which are so expensive! Because <laughs> it's have the modeling itself and then the rigging and, like, 2D stuff, that's also expensive, but it felt more accessible because you're not having a 3D thing. Uh, and then I got introduced to Vroid and found a really good tutorial video when I was first interested in it that showed me ways to like customize it to more of my tastes. And then after that, it was like, wee! <laughs> uh, and I, I still have like, things I want to change and, like, things I want to try and do. My phone just hit me in the face. That sounds like maybe you gotta go to bed. It means, like, you gotta go to sleep. Margot, hello! You followed me recently, didn't you? Yeah. Who are you? Oh! Hello! I was <laughs> like, I'm so bad at remembering your usernames. Hi! <laughs> hello! Let me make sure I'm not clicking a ban button. I opened I opened you up on my my activities thing and the fill up the entire screen. Hi, <laughs> welcome to stream. Uh, I'm yelling about V Roid and how cool it is. Who's probably not going to sleep because shiny ridges. Ooh, are you doing a are you doing a hunt specifically? Where are you hunting grudgy eyes? My first assumption was Scarlet Violet, but I'm pretty sure those bastards are shiny locked because Pokemon hates you. <laughs> Good luck on your hunt, though. Sword and shield. Nice. I got... I got forced recently. Your dimples are so cute. Yeah, thank you. The funny thing is that this was not intentional. It was more just like a weird after effect of like a couple things. Good night. Talk later. Have good night. We need to talk about Soul Link later. But after you sleep. After you go bed bye. <laughs> good night. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, the dimples. This was not intentional, but it was like a weird, like, I don't know what happened. Um, my guess it's the combo of when I made my model in VWord Studio, I have the outline a bit more exaggerated than the normal, like, model outline. Uh, and then my mouth shape is a bit, like, on the bigger end. Uh, and so I think just all of that stuff kind of combined with blend shapes to just create the dimples. It's really lucky that it like lined up well with the, the flush on my face. Uh, cause it works really well. And now I'm like, if I like have a, another 3D model in the future, I'm like, if it doesn't have the smile lines, I, <laughs> I riot. <laughs> and I'm actually, I'm not in the talks yet, but I have a, like a submission, uh, to a live 2D artist who I like. Uh, I ha I did not say with them, uh, I didn't say in my submission asking about smile lines, but now that I think about it, if I do get accepted to have a, a live 2D model made, uh, I might ask about it now that I think about it. Couldn't tell you dimples, uh, I'm at 160. Oh Christ, <laughs> I didn't know it went that low. <laughs> How are you seeing any shapes? <laughs> oh, Twitch Mobile. I 
You just love Twitch? <laughs> but thank you. I, uh, in terms of Sword and Shield, which was mentioned earlier, I got not tricked necessarily, because that implies a bit more intent. Uh, but a friend of mine recently wanted to get the shiny charm in Sword. Uh, but obviously that requires you to know somebody who has shield. Uh, and she was like, hey, does anybody have have shield that can help me get some more Pokemon? Uh, to the shiny charm. And I was like, I can help. Uh, <laughs> and I, I got to learn uh, that I had never properly finished the post game. So I didn't have the dog. <laughs> And I thought that was going to be the hardest part of the whole thing. I was like, oh, I got to do these dumbass battles with these dumbass guys with their dumbass hair in order to get this dog. And then I guess, I guess past me was kind uh, and had already gotten past the battle that I got stuck on previously. And I just got to walk in there and do like 20 minutes of cutscenes to get this dog. Uh, I was like, oh, great. The rest of this is going to be so easy. And then it turns out that like every single, every single Pokemon that is like exclusive to those two games are like, you have to have this weather and you gotta be in this biome and you gotta go into this patch of grass or else that bitch ain't coming out. Uh, so that was like three hours, I think, of like going around. And that was like two, three hours of me going around and having watched a video of somebody who was like, Hi, do you want to get this Pokemon? Set your switch to this date to make this specific weather spawn so that you can go to this specific spot to get this specific Pokemon. But it's only going to spawn 5% out of the time. So good luck. Or 2% like Drampa. And I was like, I'm going to kill this old man when he shows up. This old man dragon. <laughs> Eventually, though, I got it, and my buddy was able to get the shiny charm, and I don't have to get any more dogs. I don't have to fight Hopip with his, not Zab, was it Zamazente or Zacian? Zacian's the one who's just, like, dreadful. He used Techno Trainer on YouTube. I think that was it. I think that was who I, let me Google. It was like, it was like, ah, it was perfect. It was like, no fuss, like no guff, like we're not dealing with an intro. He's like, hi, you're here for this. Let me explain it. Like, get into the specifics really quick. Here's what you need to do. Here's where to go. Like, perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better tutorial. And he had one for every single one of those bitches I was looking for. Uh, Techno Trainer. Scarlet and Violet. Is this him? I don't reckon it. No, don't play. Don't, don't play thing. Uh, God, this looks like it's it. Let me let me type in. What was it? Dramp. Uh, I bet this is him. I just not am not recognizing the the logo of his because it's so simple. Yeah, that's the bitch. Oh my god. Oh, uh, this guy saved me like probably six hours of effort. Dragonaut. <gasps> Hello. I am good. I'm actually probably gonna wrap up stream soon. Uh, apologies for, like, the... Obviously, I'm not playing Sword and Shield right now. Uh, Twitch hates me today because every single thing has been broken today. And I have not been able to update anything of my settings. Uh, so this has just been, like, a chatting stream of me going through all of my setup and seeing what's wrong. Uh, and then getting off topic because that's how I operate. Uh, but how are you today? I don't know if we've, like, properly chatted, uh, outside of the, the good old vcrypt server. Uh, couple more wedding. Oh, ooh, I caught a rug. I don't know if that's a euphemism or if you literally caught a rug. Uh, but I hope the wedding was fun. I haven't gone to a wedding in a while. I went to my old neighbor's wedding like earlier this year. And I th think his wife is pregnant now. Some someone I got 
I got photos today from somebody that was like, so-and-so's wedding shower. And I'm like, I don't know if this is this lady or if this is a different lady who I don't really know. Uh, but some, someone's having a kid. Uh, but yeah, weddings are fun. I, I wish I got to go to weddings more, but like... All the people who I know who like end up getting married are like... Across the country. <laughs> so it's not accessible. I mean to go to weddings, I just mooch off of my like... Parents, friends, kids weddings to be like, I get to go to a little party. Gonna have a fun little time. But yeah, I think... I think we're good. I, I figured out at least the root problem of my my rigging lagging issues, and that's because I've got too many, too many fucking sources, or at least badly optimized sources running around. Uh, so that's a understandable fix. I'm gonna dance a lot. Oh, duh. <laughs> I'm bad with euphemisms. I'm like, I don't know what things mean. I have to Google so many things. I feel like an old man. <laughs> a lot of the time. When I was in college, I had like Urban Dictionary like bookmarked on my phone because I would hear so much like, I would use so much slang used that I was like, I don't know what this means. Put of the two Reggies, I got Sword and Shield. Reggie Rock does not like the shiny dude. Oh God. <laughs> like I remember the Reggies are that first DLC. No, not the first, the second DLC. Are you having to like, do the whole damn like walk up and like meet the guy cutscene because i've i've done some shiny hunting most of it has been what is it called the the egg method masudo i've done masudo hunting that's the most i have the patience for because that's just like running around in circles uh it's different sword and shield okay so it's not the <laughs> you're not having to solve the deep riddle <laughs> in order to get these guys uh it was funny though when pokemon was like let's do a really stupid amount of like riddles you gotta solve in order to find a pokemon and it's like we have google now it's a lot more accessible to find the weird shit but i get it it's more it's more accessible to the younger audience which is probably more important to cater to them because that's your primary audience with these kind of games I do miss, I do miss when, like, you were younger. Uh, and I got into, like, video games, I guess, late-ish for my age range. I, like, properly started, like, playing with my Nintendo DS when, like, Diamond and Pearl came out. That's, like, that's my, that's my generation, uh, for Pokemon games. But I did play Emerald. And, what do you mean? I'm almost 20, I still play these games. Uh, like... <laughs> I, I mean more like, uh, like, when the, the game is designed, the target audience in terms of, like, the way the gameplay is set up, uh, is definitely geared towards, like, teens or, like, younger kids. Like, these aren't, these are not complex games. This is not, like, a Soulsborne, uh, where it's, like, like, high caliber, super intense. It's like, I'ma run around with my fun little guys, and we got my little type matchups. It's like the perfect like design for me because I'm like, I like my video games and I like it when I'm like a, a little strategy game, but it's not like really intensely strategy. I don't have to think too hard. I'm just here to have fun. <laughs> I'm like approaching 30 uh, and I still love my little Pokemon games, even though Scarlet and Violet runs like ass. I really hope the next Pokemon game. Actually, I haven't streamed, I think, since this announcement, but I am so damn excited for the next Legends game because that was the first game Legends Arceus was the first game I streamed and don't watch those old videos I have on YouTube because the setup is so bad <laughs> it's so bad I don't have like a I don't have a model or anything at that point yet this was before I considered doing uh before I considered doing VTubing uh I had so much fun with those streams, though, and I'm so excited to stream it, stream the next one. Uh, surprisingly, Scarlet and Violet runs really well on my Switch. I like... I've... I've... It's not as bad. It's gotten better. 
Uh, but, ooh, boy. Ooh. I've seen some bad glitches. I'm really hoping that uh, the next mainline game, they optimize it better. Uh, I'm hoping we still have the Switch at that point. I've, I've been hearing whispers in the wind of like a Switch 2 or something coming out in the future. And I hope not. I hope not for a long while. I don't want to buy a new system. Uh, which I likely will when it does happen, but... Eh. It's gonna at some point. We're gonna have to have a new thing. The main thing is, with the Switch, like a Switch 2 or anything, I hope it still uses like the same shit as the current one. Because it's so nice to like... Because with like the DS and the 3DS, if you want to stream with those specifically, you have to like build a thing into it, I think. And when the Switch, you just like pop a capture card on there and you're on your merry way. So I at least hope that for the whatever next generation thing comes out, it's as accessible. Because it's so nice from a streaming perspective to just have a capture card. And I have like... I have a cheap capture card for my Nintendo, uh, and it works fine. And so I don't really, I have no reason to buy a better capture card for now. Knock, knock on wood, it might break. Uh, if there was going to be a Switch 2, then it would have been revealed during the... You know what? Good point. That's a good point. It would have been. I just hope, I'm crossing my fingers right now for the idea uh because that Layton game is coming and we don't have a date for it yet but if it comes out before switch 2 happens i'll be good just don't put it on the next switch keep it on this one <laughs> i'm so excited for new world of steam i am like i already have a plan whenever it comes out i don't know when it's going to but whenever it comes out I'm taking, I'm taking time off of work and I'm hoping it's on a Friday because uh, I am like, I'm taking time off of work. I am going to stream. I am going to have a delightful time with my boy who I have not properly played a, a latent game since I think last Spectre. I never finished the, the, the original, not original trilogy, the, the prequel trilogy, trilogy, I could speak. Uh, I have the rest of the games, though, on my 3DS that I got super legally. Uh, I just haven't decided yet if I want to, like, play them on my own or if I want to try and stream them, which will obviously adjust things because then I'll have to get some sort of ways to stream it. Switch is almost eight years old. The 3DS was... The 3DS was six years old? Huh. I guess the Nintendo. I get. Well, how old was the the DS when they discontinued that? Uh, Nintendo DS life lifespan. Let's do a comparison. Released 2011, discontinued 2017. Wow. Uh, let's see. A DS. Okay, so the DS was nine. So, we're, we're, we're doing maths here. The DS lived for nine years. The 3DS, on, honestly, it, it makes sense that the, the 3DS didn't live as long as the DS. As fun as the whole, like, 3D aspect was of the 3DS, it really wasn't important. Like... I, the majority of the time, have the, like, the 3D stuff off on mine. Uh, like, it was fun, but it was, like, that whole gimmick of, th like, wow, three-dimension, uh, and media is, like, it's interesting, but it's a gimmick. Uh, I am glad, though, that, like, Game Boy and DS stuff worked on 3DS. Thank God. Uh, but yeah. Like, the Wii U... How long did the Wii U last? Wii U lasted... Lifespan... Baby... Uh, that was only five years old. 
3DS was the testing phase for the Switch hardware. Yeah, I feel like the this the like the 3DS, the 3DS and the Wii U kind of share the same space of like we have ideas that we really want to like experiment with but we're not sure if we're going to keep it long term. And then like, I think they took the, like, I think the ideas of like the, the 3DS and the Wii U kind of merged together that ended up birthing the, the Switch. And I definitely think that the, the Switch was a, a stronger thing. Like the Switch has done incredibly well. I really like the Switch. The OLED as a thing? It's a fun, like, it's it's more screen. Like, if you want more screen from your handheld, I get it. But for me, it's just a bigger thing. Uh, so I, I've, I've never had much interest in terms of, like, the OLED Switch. I like, I like, I actually had a Switch Lite for a long time. And then, like, a couple years ago, uh, when I was like, oh, I, I, I kind of want to stream. I can't do that with the light. Let's get a let's let's trade in the light and then get the the proper one, uh, at a, a bit of a discount because I'm getting it, uh, after I hand in my switch, uh, switch light, and I've been very happy about that. Uh, now I have a nice little case for it, uh, because my hands hurt when I play switch for too long, so the case allows me to grip onto it better, more effectively. I'll be sad though when they completely discontinue the Switch uh, in terms of like games coming out. But I'm not really someone who like buys a bunch of games and kind of with streaming and becoming a lot more comfortable just like sitting at my computer and like fiddling with like computer stuff. I'm doing more stuff on PC now. I say more like I'm, I'm doing a few things on PC now. Um, and I'm warming up to the idea more of playing games on the PC. That being said, anything that requires much in terms of, like, technical ability, I am still on the Switch. Uh, I beat Hollow Knight on the Switch. I could barely play it on PC, because I am just not, like, I didn't grow up playing, like, PC games in terms of, like, really utilizing any skill. Uh, so if I, like, wanted to, like, get good at a game on PC, it would take a long time. Which I'm probably not going to do. Oh, elbow! Elbow, no! <laughs> oh, no, what are you doing, my limb? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm like the- what's that new, uh, killer on Dead by Daylight? The unknown. It's me, the unknown. Look at my limbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I love that weird little guy. <laughs> also, it would have been revealed in the Plaza trailer if it was switched to, because you can see the top right corner of the system. Ah, that's a good point. That is a good point. Honestly, thank god. I'm so excited. I'm I'm so excited for that game for a lot of reasons, but I'm also I love when like any game that's normally set in like a different place is like now we're set in America for this game. It's like, oh man, <laughs> how are we interpreting what America is? <laughs> and like, I love Layton. I love like the, the like how it kind of like plays around with its world and like logic and whatnot. I'm so curious to see like how much of this America is going to be recognizable as America because it's already wild. <laughs> gonna destroy so many people with my shiny Zygarde. Ooh, how fun. Zygarde. I have to imagine Zygarde is gonna pop up in the new Legends game. I feel like it- I- I never finished X and Y, and I also didn't get far enough in the- like the Hawaii- what is it called? Sun and Moon. I didn't get far enough into Sun and Moon to run into Zygarde. So most likely, my first experience with Zygarde is probably going to be however it appears in Legends ZA, Z Alpha, whatever it's going to be properly called. It's like a, it turns into a mech. 
It's like a dog and then a lizard and then a mech. The reason why are broken games because there are no story for. It's not explained? I figured there was some sort of context for why it... Huh? It's just there? How do you even encounter it? I wonder... Because, like, I was seeing a thing earlier today, and the X and Y games are, like, the only games ever to never get, like, an additional thing. Like, like even back in Red and... Like, red, red and blue, they had yellow. Uh, like, Soul Silver existed as a thing. Uh, Emerald existing for Generation 2. Platinum for 4. Uh, Black and White 2 for 5. Nothing for Gen 6. And then you have Ultra Sun and Moon after that. And then you have the DLCs for Sword and Shield. And then the DLCs for Scarlet and Violet. X and Y had nothing. My assumption is that there was originally going to be something for X and Y that maybe would have touched more on Zygarde, and then never happened. So then I guess... I guess Legends is going to be that. Uh, but that's so weird. That's so weird. Because it is a... it is a Legendary, right? Why would you... Let me look this up. Legendary, Mythical, the the distinction always flummoxes me. Pokemon, Zygarde. Because it's, it's got three forms. Like, there's, in theory, a lot of intentionality behind it, but... Really? It's just got three forms. I swear I hope that Volcanon will be in... And be in Planet of the Shiny Huntable. Ooh, what was Vulcanon? Is that the Pool Noodle Man? Pokemon. Vulcanon. There's like the weird cat. Ah, what does Shiny look like? Oh, I love him. Oh, oh, he's like a little pool toy. Oh, I love him. If they continue with the way they've been rendering metals in, like, Scarlet and Violet, that's gonna look bussin'. Ooh. Like, with the way the blue is, if it glowed and, like, the metal was all, like, shiny. If they deepened the gold a little bit and then, like, the blue shine, that would look so cool. The pink is an interesting choice, but I respect it. Dude, he would look real. Was he a Generation 6? I feel like I remember hearing about Volcanon and then like seeing a gif of it's like the things above its head breaking apart and then like it flying around like a little jetpack. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't like know much about it otherwise. I love a good like interesting type matchup like water fire interesting. Was it in a movie? Volcanon in the mechanical Marvel. Hmm. I need to watch the Pokemon movies again. There's like a lot of them that I just haven't seen. He was introduced in the movie? Huh. Interesting. Wait, is it St. Patrick's Day? Hold up. Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, I was like, oh, I've missed the holiday. <laughs> there are so many events at work I had a plan that were set up on St. Patrick's Day that I just, I, I haven't had to look at them in a while. I know that Zarud. Okay, who's Zarud? There's a lot of poke, there's, there, I feel like there's, I don't know what the year is, but there's a big gap in which like a lot of Pokemon, I'm just like, I don't know who this is. Is this the furry? Uh, not the furry I was thinking of, but this is a furry. That's furry porn. Oh, those are nipples. Oh, I missed safe search. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Zerud. That's one I don't really know. My that was a... I think that's a... That's a Scarlet and Violet. I think. 
Hmm. Yeah, if they don't do anything with Sarun in Platinum and... Not Platinum. In, uh... In Legends, that's just a missed opportunity. Also, would be dumb, considering it's Z, of all things. I want an explanation for why it goes from Dog to Snake to Voltron. I need an explanation for this, because they're clearly going for something. But if you're not having story behind it, then kind of what's the point? It's a green and black Pokemon. It's shown to be gathering energy, has the ability to divide cells, stays out of sight of others. It's been referred to as the guardian of the ecosystem. X and Y was like about stopping global warming, if I remember correctly. That was what that one guy was trying to cause. This, this does not make me think of a guardian of ecosystems, though. This is... It feels so mechanical. It feels so inorganic. It avoids conflict. It ensures equilibrium. It's got a lot of concept art, which is fun. Hmm. Oh, it's in a movie. Yeah, this is a straight up just a, a Voltron, whatever the hell. The snake cracks me up. It's an interesting execution of a snake design for a Pokemon. The dog? I always forget about the dog. My brain always thinks that the snake form is smaller than the dog, but then it's 10% versus 50%, so it's like, okay, so that's not supposed to be the case. What a weird little man. I hope you're explained. I hope you're God. <laughs> I'm so interested. The snake form is based on Jorgen Gander. Is it? It feels King Cobra-ish, which I don't feel like is invocative, but I guess. I don't know enough information about this guy to refute that properly. I guess that would make sense, because it's like big protectors. I wonder what the dog is based off of, though. My first thought is like Cerberus, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's no three heads uh, to be seen. Uh, but I bet there's other dogs in Mythos' story and lore. Uh, that would make a better explanation. Also, fucking <laughs> the big mech <laughs> thing. Information on Zungard. None whatsoever. <laughs> Are you looking at? <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> It would be interesting if this thing took the same role as RCS in the, the main game of ZA. Because RCS was already really, like, cemented as, like, I'm God. Uh, so I think it'd be very strange if ZA went for, like, the exact same, like, someone is summoning you to have a whole, like, ordeal. Uh, and it's this guy, because I'd be like, I get Arceus, because that's god of Pokemon. This guy is nothing. Um, Arceus is pulling us into his redevelopment project. <laughs> god. Uh, okay. I've My cat is throwing a proper fit, and I have deprived her of free wandering, I think, for long enough. So I think I'm probably have to wrap up stream. Uh, but thank you for joining me tonight. I don't know what I'll be streaming next. Um, I might stream tomorrow. Don't know yet. We'll find out when we get there. Uh, but thank you for hanging out tonight. Uh, I don't really... I'm not going to raid because I need to make dinner. Um, but thank you for hanging out. And I will see you guys soon. And have a lovely rest of your weekend. Oh, thank you for the follow. I'll see you later. Bye.